Hi students, I hope you're having a wonderful day today and that you are ready for today's vocabulary lesson. Today, you will learn how to use context clues to figure out the meaning of an unknown word. The first word is the word government. If you don't know what government means, you can read before and after the word to try to figure out its meaning. Every country has a government. A government is a group of people. The people work together to make important decisions for the country. So, the sentences after government tell me what government means. So government is a group of people that work together to make important decisions for the country. A government is a group of people who work together to make what was it decisions for a country. Okay, so that is the meaning of government. What you're going to do after is use the word government in a sentence. The government um, helps protect my family and my community. That is an example of a sentence. Okay, the next word is patrols. If you don't know what patrols is, you can read before and after to help you figure out what patrol could mean. First, she patrols the streets on her bike. She looks for anyone who needs help. Then, Officer Kim directs traffic. She uses her loud whistle and hand signals to keep cars moving safely. Okay, so let's see what patrols means. So here is an officer and she patrols the streets on her bike. She looks for anyone who needs help. So what do you think patrol means? So here's an officer. She patrols on her bike and she's looking for anyone who needs help. So what do you think patrol means? You are going to write it here in your own words. Make sure you use a capital and a period. Then you will use patrols in a sentence. Let's read the next word. The next word is fine. This two paragraphs are about what happens when a law gets broken. So you know that fine has something to do with laws getting broken. So let's read a little bit before fine and a little bit after. The officer writes a ticket and gives it to the driver. The ticket says which law the driver broke. The ticket also lists a fine. The driver may have to pay a fine. So what do you think fine means? On the next slide, you're going to write the definition of what you think fine means, and then you are going to use it in a sentence. Another activity that you can do is ask your parents about fines and traffic tickets. Tomorrow during your whole group Google Meets, your teacher might ask you, what you found out about what fines are. Okay, boys and girls, I cannot wait to see what creative sentences you came up with. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and please reach out if you need any help. Your teachers are here and happy to help you with whatever you need. Bye, see you soon.